Good morning. Is it? Sure. Good morning after a good night. Okay, you are the worst. But you're the best, and don't opposites attract? Mm -hmm. Very funny. Oh, Milo's waiting. I'm going to let him in. Do you have to? What's up, bitches? Okay. Hi, Milo. Not because you're women. Everyone is a bitch in their own way, and I fully respect that. That's a TED Talk. <laughs> How are you, Milo? I'm awful. I've got a migraine no amount of aspirin is willing to cure. Sounds like you had a fun night. Might have. Don't know. <laughs> there is nothing up here about last night. <laughs> Actually, about any of yesterday. It's all blacked out. Do you take pity on your brain cells? You're so carefree with them, Milo. Hey, at least they get a vacation. Yours are probably about to burst into flames from overuse. I mean... Use them if you got them, right? Well, if you're done recreation shaming me, what titillating activities did you get up to last night, Amira? I went out. Holy shit. You went on a date? That's a first? No. No. Um, I went to night market by myself. Last night. Nice try. You're someone so smart, your lives are so sloppy. Friday was the last day of the night market. Did you actually go on a secret date? Milo, yesterday was Friday. It was Saturday. Oh, um, today's Saturday. So. It's Sunday. It's Saturday, Milo. You want to bet? No, I'm not betting on what day it is. Yeah, because you'd be broke. Okay. You, you know that the S on the calendar stands for Saturday and Sunday, right, Milo? Oh, my God. Come on, Lou, set her straight. It, it is Sunday. Okay, don't do that. No, really. Check. Yeah, fine. Wait, what? I don't remember. Hi, everyone. June, what day is it? Uh, is it a trick question? June, what day is it? Um, Sunday, I think. Are we using the Gregorian calendar? or? I'm pretty sure the days of the week aren't exclusive to the Gregorian calendar. June, do you remember what you did on Saturday? Uh, Saturday... Actually, I... I can't. Oh my god, I seriously slept through the whole day? God, god, damn, do we, do we have something planned? Oh, I missed a Saturday Buddy Zoom, sorry guys. No, 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 it's not that. I have zero memory of last night. Which isn't surprising to anyone. Sure, but Daphne and Velma here just realized that they don't remember anything either. Uh, okay. So... So, we're trying to figure out what the hell happened. Maybe we all got, like, super drunk together. For the entire day, I don't think. Not. I mean, we've done worse. Oh, I wouldn't have. <laughs> oh, right, because your brain is recognized by UNESCO as a World Heritage Site. Um, no, I just, <laughs> I wouldn't. I mean, not around you guys. Just... Okay, ouch. What did we do? Yeah, I, I didn't mean it like that. It just, you know, I say things I don't mean to when I'm drunk. Oh, so you don't trust us anymore after all the times I held your hair back for yes. you to do. I trust you, June. <laughs> it's just that she's more self-conscious about drinking with other people nowadays. That's all. She gets embarrassed easily when she can't control her words. When did we become other people? Aren't we all supposed to be close to each other? I spent the last two years of my college experience attending these Zoom meetings instead of studying for exams, all for the sake of keeping our friendships alive. And this is how you repay me. Does anyone know what's taking Hyde so long? Well, what doesn't take Hyde outrageously long? This is probably all Hyde's want. I mean, like, the guy probably convinced us to take a drug that causes rampant memory loss or something. They could convince you to do that? Uh... 
I would do a lot of things that paid. I'm not sure that's a good thing, June. Mm, okay. <laughs> uh, well, it's going to be the first time I got some trouble. But I, I still don't think they could convince me to get drunk in front of you guys. So we can definitely cross that off the list. Well, if Hyde was actually here, maybe we could ask them what we did. I'm sorry, what's the point of inviting them to all our little buddy Zooms if they're this late to all of them? Don't be like that. It's because they're a friend. Since when? You're annoying. Guys, 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 guys. I made $600 yesterday. Definitely worth it. Okay, what? No way. Yeah, yeah, it's right here in my memo. You guys should check yours. Huh. I made 50 you two got lucky because I lost 150. Oof. I lost three. Three ain't so bad. 300, June. Oh. I sent it all to me. They Venmoed it with a note drip and then the blood drop emoji. Since when did you become a limited edition sneaker reseller? Oh, wait. I sent the same note for the 50 they sent me. Oh, they sent it to me too. Yeah, me two but so yeah where did you get the other 550 from then Jim? well okay i got 200 from you and the last 350 was from milo <laughs> sorry for your last guys god i hate drunk milo stupid i'm cutting you off <laughs> again i don't think you are drunk i'm more careful on that Oh, yes, you're perfect saints, your organs. We get it. Did Amira and Milo send their payments with notes, June? Uh, actually, they did. Um, Amira's was just the ring emoji, and Milo's was... <laughs> you're not that much of a wimp. Milo. Oh. Um, uh, sorry, my bad. Hey, I said he's not. Hey, say whatever you want. I'm a one percenter now. Uh, you're definitely not. Okay. <laughs> Any idea what that note meant, Milo? Not being aware? Nope. You don't remember any taunts or antagonistic things that you might have said to June last night? Ha ha, no. <laughs> if Milo was hurling insults at anyone, it was probably Hyde. You two are always just going at it these days. Shouldn't we just ask Hyde? I mean, they're probably our best bet right now, right? If they're not here for this, what makes you think they're actually going to answer you? Okay, but at least let me try. What does your note mean, Amira? What is with the ring emoji? Wait, is June the person you're dating? What? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Everything we talked about, too. Why are you guys laughing? Are you being serious? I guess the rom-coms are right. Oh. Guys and girls can't just okay. be friends. I should have known about you two. Oh, wait, wait, shh, shh, shh. Hi, if you have a thing to say, ah, shoot. Like this, the hospital. When am I wrong? <laughs> when are you? Okay, most recently, five seconds ago, when you thought Junpei and I were dating. Okay, then care to explain <laughs> yourselves? <laughs> oh my god. Please do. Um, okay, well, it's probably just ring emoji I don't know maybe jewelry or um this oh so you're not dating June he's just your high end jewelry dealer <laughs> Silly me forgetting that he's apparently a part-timer at Tiff. <laughs> How can I mistake that for a romantic gift when he clearly only sold it to you for the commission? Relax. Milo, why are you being so petty? Not. Right. Okay, so Hyde paid each of us $50. Amira allegedly bought a bracelet from June. I paid June for somehow proving his strength to me, and none of us can remember anything else. And Hyde's missing. And Hyde's late. That's expected. Uh, is there anything else in your bag, Amir? Um, no, just cash and a jacket. Nothing interesting. 
Uh, okay, so I have sunglasses and gloves. Oh, I have my passport. Don't need it. I have a pocket knife and a lighter. Okay, you would. What does that mean? Uh, th there's blood. There's blood in my bag on a hides jacket. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> I I'm serious. There, there's blood on on Hyde's jacket in your bag. Just hear me. What's up? Don't kill me next. I'm finally rich. June, how would I kill you through your computer? I don't know, virus. Do you think I'm fucking around, cheese? Uh, this is he mad at us or is this just part of it? I don't know. This is weird. June. What are the odds that you send me like a hundred dollars back? One in sixty four? One? Two? Three? Eight! Six. Oh my god! Is this how I lost it in the first place? Well, I mean, like. Hey, you know what? Just keep it. You're paying for us all the time anyway. It's probably not even everything we owe you. Wow, she is committed. You're really so freaking me out. Please stop it. Yeah, Luz. This is pretty f <laughs> Okay. I'm not enjoying this vibe at all, so... I am going to go. I will see you all. Just, no, wait, 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 wait a second, Milo. The, the knife, you can't leave. You have the murder weapon. Whoa, whoa murder. Let's back to June. So, well, we can't find Hyde, but Luz found a jacket covered in blood. I mean, we can't remember anything we did yesterday, but we knew that you were carrying a knife. Junpei, you were spiraling. Tell him, Amira. Luz wouldn't kill them. But I would? I didn't say you, you would. Uh, you're, you're acting really sus, Milo. Hold on, Amira, you don't actually believe Hyde's dead. She wouldn't do something like this for fun. But the rest of us would kill Hyde? I mean, you just think about it, right? I mean, if that's not real blood, then it's juice or dye or our pain. I mean, what are the odds supposed to get any of that on Hyde's okay. jacket? Okay, um, it wouldn't be abnormal for Luz to have juice in her bag. Thank you! It's probably V8 or something, not literal human blood, June. Then again, she wouldn't throw up at the smell of juice. I mean, personally, I am definitely getting expired juice. Oh, juice expires? She didn't have juice in that bag we went to night market on Fridays, so it's, it's not old. It's sticky, and attractive maybe, but not vomit-inducing. It's not that old. It, it's not expired juice. We were at the night market with loose? Don't try to change the subject, Mr. Suspect. I'm trembling in fear, Dr. Seuss. Uh... <sighs> Is it old juice? It's blood. Aha! Oh my god, I can't believe they're dead. What? No, who's dead? Hyde! June, Hyde's not dead. Their back is drenched with their blood. It might not be their blood. Oh, so you're saying that somebody else was killed then? No. No one was killed, June. Just... I'm, okay, brutally made semantics! Actually, if it is blood... It is blood. There are lots of possible explanations for it. No, I don't like what? Maybe... We... All... Went big game hunting. What the... I would never! You probably just watched... The perception of me is twisted. I'm just offering up ideas. May I remind the group here that Milo is the only one among us who has something with which to stab Hyde? Dude! If anyone here was doing the killing yesterday, it was Milo. Hey, what about you? How do you explain how you came up with the money to get that bracelet in the first place, huh? Maybe you committed armed robbery and Hyde got <laughs> in the way. What? What, what kind of blank bullshit is that? You know what? You wouldn't know all about it. 
murderer you was to be in a gang! What? It's called a business frat, June. <laughs> okay, okay, wait. Actually, let's start with that. The frat? No, the bracelet. Oh. That. The, the blood is weird. We can all agree on that, but... Um, the bracelet can be easily explained. Right, Amira? Um, I don't remember anything, just like the rest of you, so I mean. June, do you know anything about it? Um, I mean, you can just check our text, right? I mean, we probably talked about it at some point. <laughs> right, you probably did. I'm sorry, does no one else think it's weird that June had his passport with him? Okay. Why, why do you keep focusing on me so much? I'm I'm not. <laughs> okay. Um. Oh, I think I found it. Uh, yes. Um. Okay. So at nine twenty one, Amira texted me about having a job for me. I asked what it was, and she said she needed something picked up, and will pay me to do it. Um. And about the passport thing, Milo, Mira was the one who told me to bring it. Why exactly? I don't know, she said just in case. Oh, so you two could flee the country after your heist. Probably to go honeymooning in Canada and consummate your crime marriage. Okay. So, okay, Amira obviously had June pick up the bracelet for him. Uh, well, we don't know that. Are you serious, Amira? Yeah, I mean, we didn't mention the bracelet specifically in the text, so could have been talking about anything i i guess june are there any more details uh well she did give me an address and i've been searching it up so yeah it is a jewelry store um so i did pick up the bracelet mostly by by legitimate means but well what we still don't know is why amir wants to explain why like she needed it <laughs> i mean another question is why did you get it amir why didn't yeah. you just pick it up yourself okay guys just back off i need you keep defending her. If anyone's acting weird, I say it's you three. My hands are clean. You know what? I genuinely think that you are the only one among us who could have looked died in the eye and stabbed them. Who said I looked them in the eye? Well, do you do admit that you killed them? June, you are leaping to conclusions. Out of everything everyone had in their bags, only mine were normal. <laughs> normal for me. Okay. What's up with you and June? I mean, I'm not the only person who paid him hundreds of dollars yesterday. At least we have an idea of why I did. There's nothing in my text with Milo, so we're probably together when we talked about it. You know what? Here's what we're going to do. We're going to scrub through our camera rolls and see what really happened that way. That's the best remedy for modern memory loss. Right? Who goes first? No, no, no. Here's how we do it. We start at the top of the day, and then we go around chronologically. Okay. Uh, it is odd that you know exactly what to do. <laughs> uh, so, have you run this job before, Milo? Hey, it is not a crime to be a blackout drunk. Everyone, go through your camera rolls. Tell us what you find. Um, okay, so I have something at 11.30 a.m. Looks like we were at high... Oh, good God. It's another one of their video diary things. Anyone have anything earlier? Not earlier, no. Okay, June, play it. Hi, come on, don't! I don't have any more storage because of you. It'll be quick, darling. The next time you drop it, I'm charging you. I don't have Apple Care. Just sleep in a bee, June. Alrighty. I'll be back for yours too, Amira. <laughs> Screw you. Whatever you say. Hi June, this is your weekly hype cam. As well as something to look back at fondly the next time you're pissed at me. Which will probably be later tonight. But hey, that's why I'm paying you to quit complaining, right? <clears throat> Currently, you're in my room with Mira, and it's very interesting how you two are being so hush today. If I didn't know any better, I'd assume you two are hiding something from me. Luckily I do. 
So I know that Mira is the one hiding something from you. You should really ask more questions, bud. You really should. You might not be so in the dark about what's happening around you then. That's my tidbit of wisdom for you. Just that. You know what would be really cool? I can make these video messages self-destruct. Anyways, be good, June. Oh, and stop calling whenever you see cats that look like me. I am this close to blocking your number. Uh, uh, Mira, what was that about you hiding something? Um, well, I didn't forget about mine either. So I have one Wait. at 1137. Um, Hold on. Let's watch, let's watch that. Hey, you're warming up a little. I know you say you hate these, but if I don't make them, you'll start missing me. You always complain when I stop talking to you guys. So I'm really doing this for you. Honestly, I feel like we don't really talk that much anymore. I don't even think you watch these. At least June texts me back after finding them. Damn, maybe I shouldn't block the number. Whatever, I said what, I'll do it. Ah, but fuck's sake, this is for you. So I'll focus. We should talk more. Especially about that thing. I don't think anyone else knows, right? You don't know that I do. And I probably shouldn't tell you that I do. But I am. Because I do. So, yeah. That bracelet is really pretty, by the way. I'm sure that... Well, you know. I'm sure they'll like it. Love you, A. Oh, and don't chicken out tonight. You can either be a lifesaver or a murderer. I know one's more fun, but you choose. I always says the wrong things, especially in retrospect. Uh, okay, but if I told you a murder- That's not what they said. Still, you have a motive. What? Um, come on, I knows a secret about you. I mean, they make this known to you in a video and the next day they disappear. I don't know about the rest of us, but I find that suspicious. Thanks. Milo, mm -hmm. do you have anything? I know, but I don't think it's a hide cam. Hide, what the fuck? Give it back. It'll be fast. Promise. <sighs> I don't even know why I make these for you. You're pretty hostile toward me lately. Don't exactly know why. Well... That's not true. You're a little upset because I'm always with June and Amira, right? That's obvious. But I don't get why. You wouldn't actually like seeing them act all coupley and close in front of you, right? I mean, that's your sweetheart. You're gonna kill me for this, but you're pining all over the place. It's like you're walking on broken glass whenever June is around her, dude. I know we're gonna have problems when you see this. But someone has to tell you that you just hide. What, bro? Saying the shit out in the hallway. Uh, where else would I? She says, Milo, chill. I'm just messing with you. Yeah, I see that, but I preferred if you didn't. Okay, you've been mad at me for a while now. Why are you even here? Why are you coming with us tonight? Dude, you know why. Dude, if you talked about it, maybe you wouldn't be so repressed. I'm not repressed. I literally feel like you might kill me right now. Hey, you guys good? Just give me my phone back, Hyde. Okay. Huh. I mean, well, that does not make you look too good either. You don't say. Wait, what were they saying? Something about me? Well, uh, hold on a second. You have some explaining to do to Amira. <laughs> Milo. Did Hyde mean that you were jealous of June because he's been hanging out with Amira? It was a typical crime of passion! Hyde was standing between you and the person you love! June. That's a real motive. I did not kill Hyde because I'm in love with Amira. Well, if they played that video in court, a jury would not agree. But are you in love with her? No! You do kind of act like it. Now that I think about it. I don't think about it. What was that earlier? I mean, you went limit thinking that Amira was secretly dating me. 
Well, what about Amira's thing, huh? Oh. We still don't know what her secret is and why she bought the bracelet. Maybe she illegally obtained some money, laundered it in expensive jewelry, and killed Hyde for trying to snitch it on her. What a theory. Okay. Don't turn it around on me and just deflect like that before answering for yourself. <laughs> you guys really think I would throw Amira under the bus like that if I was in love with her? Exactly. That that's very compelling, but it doesn't change that you have been acting strange about Hyde and me spending time with Amira. I mean, and Hyde's been annoying you a lot. Maybe you snapped after they taunted you about, you know, us two being closer to her. I mean, you're telling me that there really was nothing that Hyde's been doing recently that could have upset you? Okay. There is something. Boom! Motive. Fine. Whatever. I might have a reason to kill Hyde. But so does Amira. I do not. Amira? Yeah. Be honest. This, this secret that Hyde was talking about, how badly did you want it to remain a secret? Is there any chance you could have... Are you kidding? I don't know. I wouldn't... Fine. I might... have a reason... to kill Hyde. Damn, how bad of a secret can it be? You know, if I had been in a certain mindset, there's one thing that could have made me do it too. Just one thing. <laughs> okay, well, all right then. While you guys have fun self incriminating, I'm gonna be over here with my complete lack of motive. Wait, um, June, read the memo note that you got from Milo again. Okay. You're not that much of a wimp. And how much was that for? Uh, uh $350. So... Think hard. Is it at all possible that you might have killed Hyde in exchange for Milo paying you $350? That's not funny. June. Oh my god, I killed Hyde! I... I think, honestly, the more accurate statement would be that we killed Hyde. We all had our reasons... No, 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 but I, I must have been the one to finish it. I mean, you, you might have all wanted them dead, but I'm the last person the police was suspecting of murder. And <laughs> you guys probably figured that out. That's why I had to be the one to do it. I mean, I probably used my dumb pocket knife, too, and I probably will probably all gave ourselves like head trauma that we couldn't testify. And, oh, my God, we're heartless. But how could we? I had kept talking about dragging us into something last night. And their Venmo note was weird. I mean, he was talking about blood and saving or ending lives, right? Maybe Hyde pulled one last stunt and it was forcing us to choose someone to kill. And I guess we would all settle on them because we all had our own selfish reason. Plus, they were kind of being an asshole yesterday. Wait, could could Hyde's antics really drive us to kill them, though? What is wrong with us? I mean, we we should have just walked away. Is our friend group really cultish enough that we'd succumb to a murder pact? I mean... Shit, 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 is the FBI recording this right now? Oh my god, we are so fucked! <laughs> what do you even do now? Well, does anyone think we have a good shot at covering this up? Yeah, just imagine us being 
you just we wouldn't like them on God. <laughs> so I guess it's over. They find Hyde's body wherever it is, and then we're going down. Come here, we just tell us a secret that I knew. And what was with the bracelet? I mean, it might have been the reason we killed them, Amira. Out of respect for the dead, sure, um, Louis, you can tell them. Um, no, you should. <sighs> this bracelet is... What? Supposed to be for our six month anniversary on Sunday, which I guess is today. Oh, and I picked it up because. Yeah, okay. I ordered it a couple months ago after Luce saw it in the window one day and said it was pretty. Um, but when I ordered it, I kind of panicked when they asked me what it was for. I mean, I told them it was just for my friend to pick up to give to his girlfriend as a surprise gift, that I was ordering it for you to get. Oh. Why didn't you just say that? I couldn't just say... Look, dude. No one else knew about us except me and Ruth. Except, I guess, Hyde? Um, so... I... And you would have been okay with with killing them for that. Uh, sorry, June, didn't you literally just say that you might have killed Hyde for $350? Shut up. I did. No, I, I never wanted to or I thought that I would. It just... I don't know. There have been times where... I'm so scared, it feels like I might die, and I just, I think that if I thought Hyde was going to tell somebody that maybe it, it's possible that I would want to kill them, but hearing myself say it out loud, it's awful. There. That's the shameful truth behind the bracelet and the secret. Well, shameful isn't really the right word. Um, Luce, I'm... I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry we might have killed High because I was the one who was too scared for anyone to know about us. It's okay. Well, I mean, it's not okay, but I understand. Kind of? I guess when I saw how terrified you were, for a second I, th I thought that I might have been able to kill someone. They made you feel like that. It was just for a second, but I, I felt it. Oh, um, and June, that's the reason you had your passport with you, because the jewelry store needed a form of ID for verification of who you were. They, they told me that when I bought it, so I knew, um, you weren't trying to skip town, and, I mean, honestly, I, I really can't imagine that you would kill someone, either. Neither could I, but... 
evidence against me is damn it. Is it? You're being quiet, Milo. Yeah, what was your reason? Huh? Yeah, you said there might have been something that would lead you to kill Hyde, too. Do we have to get into it? I just went. It's your turn. Fine. I've been irritated with Hyde recently. Not to the point where I thought I'd kill them, but mad nonetheless. And all that from you having feelings for me? God, no! Well, thanks, Milo. Sorry. No, I mean it. No. It's, fine. it's okay if you do. I'm not going to murder twice in one weekend. Hey, that's enough. I really don't. But you got so upset at high because you were joking about how Amira and I look like a couple. Yeah, it, you've been really tense around them. Like, your pocket knife could cut it tense. I wouldn't blame you for getting the wrong idea. I mean, if I wasn't her girlfriend, I might have thought Amira was dating June, too. I wasn't bothered about Amira. Then why were you always on hide about her? I wasn't. About what, then? Fuck it. I died for this. They were teasing me about... June. Hey, June? Yes, you, June! But you are so defensive because of Mira. I... Oh. Not because of me being with her, her, but her being with me? Yeah. It's not that I minded you two hanging out, I'm not that jealous. What? Hyde kept taunting me all the time. They even threatened to tell you. Hyde was just so good at pushing my buttons. It's possible if they kept going that they might have found, you know, the one that made me want to do it. And you were, you were that desperate to keep it from me? <laughs> well, I guess. I was perfectly fine internalizing it forever. So that we could stay friends. Hyde had different plans. They kept threatening to tell you and pressuring me to say something to you. I, I just knew that you wouldn't have felt the same and that you probably hate me forever. So? You're wrong. About everything? Wait, are you serious? <laughs> Yes, I am serious. Damn, this could have been all resolved without a homicide. I hope you're all happy. Now we had to kill Hyde to sort out our interpersonal issues. I hate you. <laughs> so much that you kill someone for me. Don't say that like it's romantic. Okay, I don't know what's more surprising. None of us are straight or that we're all implicated in murder. I'm pretty sure there's an obvious winner there. Um, but didn't we establish that June was the one who killed Hyde because Milo paid him? But now that Milo, you wouldn't have paid June to do it. I mean, if you did, that'd be really fucked up, even for you. So, you, you paid him for something else. There, there's gotta be another reason you would give June that much money. Sorry, I really don't know. <laughs> Come on. Dude, our lives are already over. You've got nothing left to lose. So why would you give June money? And what did it have to do with him being a wimp? Um, actually, I might know. I'm trying to remember writing something in my notes. Wait, you didn't say anything about this earlier? Well, I, I just forgot, okay? I honestly just, I honestly just remember. Okay, well, what does it say about my love? It's, it's not about Milo. Um, I, 
I have basically wrapped it up to tell you all that I actually, I really need the money that I have been lending you guys. I call myself a wimp for not just telling you every time you ask. I guess I worked with the courage to finally say to Milo sometime yesterday. Last week. That I really was just reimbursing you? Yeah, it seems like. Wait. So which one of us killed Hyde? <laughs> Does it really matter? I mean, like you said, one way or another, we'll all be found guilty. You know, because we valued our own secrets over Hyde's life. Sucks that I guess we'll never really know what went down. Yeah, and that we're probably going to jail for killing our friend. Well, at least we got to tell each other the truth, right? I guess. <sighs> all right, I loan up. I should not have made you all donate blood last night. To be fair, I didn't know that none of you had eaten all day and you're all gonna pass out on me. Or you lecture me for being late. Just know that I had to work an extra shift for the blood drive because they lost 30 pints from lose wiping out onto that cart of blood bags. She got my favorite jacket covered in blood. And then I had to Uber your lifeless bodies home like some kind of zombie getaway driver. But thanks for doing it, guys. I only had to pay you all to donate life-saving blood to those in need. Damn, who died? You jerk! We... Uh... How do I put it? Oh, okay, we thought that we killed you. <laughs> oh my god. The nurse said you might have some kind of weird memory loss, but I didn't think they would be. I'm sorry. Why the fuck are you guys pissed at me? You're the ones who committed my imaginary murder. Holy shit. We are over dramatic. Oh no. Oh, that was... What happened? Uh, Milo has a crush on me. Uh, I'm about to change my mind. Well, I already know about that. Ooh, but now you do too. No, what can I say? It was obvious to me. I'm a natural detective. Sure you are. And seeing as Milo is now astronomically less tense, I'm assuming this worked out well for the two of you? Yeah. I guess it did. Was that a thank you I heard? No. No, you can get my thank you when you unblock my number. I'll consider it. Anyway, I've got to run. I've meeting with this bounty hunter. I'm trying to convince him to move to Orlando to be closer to Disney World. Wish me luck. Uh, uh, hi. Hi. Does anything they say make sense? Don't question it. Um, uh, Milo? Yeah? Do you want to go somewhere more private? <laughs> you know, another Zoom room? Uh, I mean, yeah. <laughs> Sure. Whatever. Bye, guys. Bye. Oh, my God. How do you feel now? Relieved? Mostly because we're not murderers, but yeah, I guess. Do you regret it? No. Honestly, I'm kind of embarrassed that it took this happening for me to tell them, but I'm actually glad that I did. It, it really didn't feel good hiding someone I love, no matter how scary it got. Certainly not as scary as murdering someone. <laughs> Shut up. I really do love you, Louis, and I'm really sorry if me trying to hide that ever made you feel otherwise. I love you too, Amira. Let's just not let it go this far next time. No. God, I hope there isn't a next time. <laughs> Knowing those three, I wouldn't doubt it. Um, did you see that coming with June and... Milo? <laughs> That's not really important. Like with Hyde. 
even if they did know about us, it didn't really matter in the end. You came out, not them. That's how it should be. Yeah, but their fake death might have had something to do with it. <laughs> even as a corpse, I'd still manage to meddle with us. God, you are so lucky that I'll never get tired of your jokes, no matter how unfunny. Good. Because I'll never get tired of you.